Okay, everybody, it's time once again to take the two most shy little cats in the world to the vet. And then we're also gonna hit PetSmart. We're gonna take care of these guys because for bearing with us and letting us take them to the vet. Plus some of the reptiles need some snacks and then I gotta clean a little bit of poop in the reptile room. So here we go. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Helps us out a lot. Let's go. Master Roshi, the leopard gecko, helping me out with the narration for this video. Cats definitely can get very stuck in their ways. They love their routines. Our cats are not an exception to that rule. So going to an unfamiliar place like the vet, you know, makes them uncomfortable. Makes them, you know, they don't love it. They don't love it. So these two, to ease their discomfort, they took life into their own hands and they found happy places. Matcha, of course, by an open window, getting some fresh air, soaking up the sun. And Mochi, who usually hates being held, curled herself right up into mom's arms because she knew that at least mom doesn't do anything bad to her. So maybe if she stayed in her arms, nothing would happen to her at all. It wasn't true. But both these little girls did great. They were receiving their feline distemper vaccines this time. And since they did so great, we figured why not take them to PetSmart and get them some fresh new toys because they absolutely destroy every toy that we get them. So it's time to re-up. But on a side note, and I'm, I'm looking at Roshi right now, I just plucked him right out of his home. He was actually in one of his hides. And on the topic of taking cats to the vet and these medical procedures that they probably do not understand and can comprehend at all, kind of makes you think about aliens, right? Things we hear in alien abduction stories uh, crazy stories about different probing and different exams that people receive from these aliens. And look, I don't know if any of that's true, right? I'm not trying to sell you on aliens right now. But it kind of makes you think, because Roshi is probably not comprehending what's happening right now. And the cats going to this place and getting stabbed with these needles, they probably don't comprehend that either. Just an interesting thought. Maybe we're like the universe's coolest ant farm, you know? Who knows? Hmm? Hmm? But anyway, back to the cats and their toys. Toys and play are very important to these animals. They're relatively intelligent mammals, right? So, so mental stimulation is even more important than for something like a leopard gecko, which, I mean, enrich your reptiles' lives anyway. But when you're taking on things like mammals that have these more complex brains, enrichment is all the more important. So that's why we love toys. And speaking of cats specifically, these are obligate carnivores, okay? They're intelligent obligate carnivores, meaning they need to eat meat. Their whole life revolves around killing something and eating it, for the most part. Evidence of that is the fact that cats in the United States, uh, domestic, domesticated cats, some feral, some indoor-outdoor cats, and some 100% outdoor cats, but they are someone's pet, they kill roughly 20 billion native animals in the United States alone. 20 billion. We can't comprehend that number. We can't, you know, oh, it's like, you know, a hundred of those. Like, no, our brain cannot wrap around how many animals that is that die per year at the paws of these felines. Uh, I'm not saying we need to outlaw cats or anything. All right, everybody calm down. But interesting to note that when given the opportunity, these things hunt and kill all the time. Constantly. 
constantly killing, constantly hunting. And it's in their DNA, right? I mean, cats, big cats even, are beautiful, right? But you don't want to mess with them, you know? That's what they do. They kill, they eat. So even though our domestic cats are super cute and cuddly sometimes, they're built to kill. And since I don't want to release a hundred live mice or something like that in my apartment to let them play, uh, we get them toys, all right? Things like feathered toys they love. Basically anything that's moving around on the floor that kind of looks like it could be an animal, they'll chase it and hunt it. And then you can feed them after. And then the cats feel satisfied. They feel like they did what they were meant to do. So it is very important to stimulate your cat's prey drive, hunt drive, whatever you want to call it. But I digress. This is a reptile channel. So let's go feed some lizards. Okay, everybody. So we did pick up those crickets, but we're actually going to save them for our Toad Dave and our Toke Gecko Bangkok. But here, I have some calcium and multivitamin dusted dubia roaches for our boy Melon right here. So let's see if he wants them. See if he'll take them right from the cup. panther chameleon and now that he's an adult he's not always showing his his beautiful bright blues but that color really is coming in and he's just adorable a little tree alien he's usually shy about chewing so i might leave him alone here while he finishes this one roach we'll see if he'll take another from us oh there you go buddy But he's also quite shy, so I'm gonna give him one more chance to take out of his We're gonna dump these right in his little shooting gallery here. And this way, he can take them and make them more comfortable. He likes when the door closes, so. Melon is just over a year and a half old, so now he's able to take these larger dubia roaches and he's reaching his adult size. Awesome to see this animal growing up. So now, we're going to give some more of those dusted dubia roaches to our girl Zilly, who is in the back there. I guess Macho wants to help me, but, uh, you know, cats are apex predators, so I don't know if it's a great idea. We'll keep an eye on her. We'll see how it goes. Alright, we might need tongs for this one, boys. There you go. Zilly is making a lot of progress with getting used to me. And basically all revolves around feeding. So another great opportunity for her. Zilly is a Sudan plated lizard. These guys are native, obviously, to Sudan uh, in East Africa. 
she is wild caught. There's been like no successful captive breeding of these guys. I don't even know of too many attempts, honestly, to do it, but um, it does not seem to be the easiest thing to do in Reptilia. It would be awesome one day to get a nice male Sudan plated lizard to pair with Zilly and see if we can't get it done. I think I have some ideas of how to make that kind of process go more smoothly that I don't think people are trying. Something to look forward to in the future. Okay, last one for her. Okay, so Zilly and Melon have had their meals. The cats have been vaccinated and uh, stimulated, I guess. So that's pretty much it for this video. But before you go, guys, we are about to hit 400 subscribers. And I'm not worried about getting rich off YouTube. Uh, if I wanted to get rich off YouTube, I would not pick reptiles. This is a very small niche. And uh, what it is, is I just want to be able to provide as well as possible for these animals. I currently work a full-time job on top of all this. So every subscriber that gets us closer to being monetized, uh, it just helps out a lot, you know. With any money I get from this channel, it will just go into the care for these animals and building out better enclosures for them. But everyone who's taken a minute, even if you didn't subscribe, who's given me a little bit of watch time, you don't understand how much I appreciate that, okay? Life is short. Do what you love in life. And that's all I'm trying to do is hang out with Master Roshi and friends. Master Roshi is the first animal we got. It's cool to see him doing great thriving as an adult now but yeah since we're approaching 400 you know it's just been in my head i need to thank you guys and i do thank you guys so much you're all so appreciated but i'm not gonna get too sappy on you guys that's gonna do it once again i'm raf this is master roshi thank you so much for watching red ribbon reptiles and we'll see you next time